the lipson package is used to write some random dummy text in a document it has 150 different paragraphs and each paragraph has different number of sentences there are multiple lipson commands to write the text first add the lipson package in the preamble write the command use package and the command name lipson first command is the lipson command it adds seven paragraphs in the document write the lipson command the different paragraphs are written in the document this is first paragraph second third fourth fifth sixth and this is the seventh last paragraph if you want to add certain paragraph in the document then you can pass the number of paragraphs in the optional argument for example write in the optional argument the paragraph number one this command adds the first paragraph from the 150 paragraphs similarly if you write two it adds the second paragraph in the document and if you want the paragraph number three write the three in the optional argument and the third paragraph is coming here to add the multiple paragraphs in the range you can give the value in range separated by dash in the first optional argument for example if i want the first three paragraphs i can write one two three now the first three paragraphs are coming here if i write 149 to 150 the last two paragraphs are added in the document the number of sentences can also be given in the second optional argument of the lipson command for example one and one the lipsum one and one command writes the first sentence of the first paragraph. Similarly, if I write two one, it writes the first sentence of the second paragraph. Number of sentences can also be given in the range separated by dash. For example, paragraph number two and I want first five sentences one two five the first five sentences of the second paragraph are coming in the document all these commands can also be written with the lipsum star command the difference between lipsum and lipsum star command is that the lipsum command writes all the text in a different paragraphs while the lipsum star command writes all the text in a single paragraph for example if i write lipsum one two three it adds three paragraphs this is first paragraph this is second paragraph and this is the third paragraph now if i write lipsum star one two three while the lipsum star command writes all the text in one paragraph now let's see the table p column specifier this table has three columns whose width is equal to the text in each column however the specified width to the column can be given for example to set the width of two inches to the first column replace the first column specifier with the p specifier and pass the argument in the p specifier of two inches now the first column is of two inches similarly you can set the width of other columns for example of last column 
of one inch the last column is of one inch width the tabular environment is the inline symbol the inline symbol means that if i write this table between the text it will appear between the text instead of separate line for example i write some random text as you can see that the table is coming in the line random text then table then the remaining text here to display the table on a separate line it should be in displayed symbol enclose the tabular environment in the table environment so that it become a displayed symbol write the table environment Now the table is placed at the top of the page. There are different placement specifiers for the position of the table. To use them, first add the package float in the preamble. Write the command use package float. The different placement specifiers are T for position of the table to the top of the page b for position the table to the bottom of the page p for page float h for place it at the exact same place if possible h for place it at the exact place definitely let's write the t specifier write t in the optional argument the table is already coming at the top of the page let's write the b specifier now the table is coming at the bottom of the page now write the p specifier now the table is coming in the separate page Let's write the H specifier. It adds the place at the exact same place. Similarly, if I write the capital H, now it adds at the exact place definitely. The table caption can be placed before or after the table. If it appears before the tabular environment, then the caption is placed before the table and if it appears after the tabular environment then the caption is placed after the table to write the caption of the table the caption command is used let's write it before the tab tabular environment the caption is coming before the table similarly if i write the caption command after the tabular environment now the caption is coming below the table to center the table write the centering command before the tabular environment now the table is displayed in the center of the page hope you like this tutorial like and share it see you in the next tutorial